Green Explosion Mystery, we watched a comet explode in real time, and what we saw changes everything. March 2020, Comet Atlas appears. Just another chunk of ice, right? Wrong. Within days, astronomers gasped. Its core started glowing an impossible emerald green, brighter, wider, like something was waking up inside. That color? Diatomic carbon reacting to sunlight. We'd seen it before, sure, but never like this. Never this violent. Then things got terrifying. The glow started flickering, trembling, like a heartbeat stopping. Instruments went crazy. The light curve looked like a final scream. By April, Hubble caught the death blow. The nucleus didn't just crack. It exploded into dozens of glowing fragments, each one trailing its own ghostly tail across space. Atlas was supposed to become the brightest comet in decades. Instead, we got a front row seat to cosmic destruction. But here's what keeps scientists up at night. That green glow wasn't life. It was death. A world breathing its last breath right before our telescopes. And now they're asking a question nobody expected. Did Atlas even come from our solar system? Or did we just watch something far stranger die? Interstellar orbit debate. It wasn't supposed to be here. And for weeks we thought it came from another star. When scientists first plotted Atlas's orbit, their screens lit up with impossible numbers. The path was almost perfectly straight. Eccentricity near one. Some early readings even shattered that limit. A hyperbolic curve screaming one thing. Alien visitor. The astronomy world exploded. Telescopes from Hawaii to Chile to Spain locked onto Atlas instantly. Every observatory on Earth wanted confirmation. Was this the second interstellar object ever detected? Online, the nickname spread like a virus. 3i Atelus. Forums erupted. If true, Atlas would join Oumuamua as humanity's only confirmed messenger from another star system. Then everything changed. Night after night, new data poured in. The orbit shifted. Calculations tightened. The final number landed like a gut punch. 0 0.999. Just barely bound to our sun. Still ours. Technically, but that's what haunts scientists. Atlas was one ten-thousandth away from interstellar freedom. So impossibly close to escaping our solar system forever. So here's the chilling question. If Atlas was that close to breaking free, what ripped it apart right before it could leave? What killed it at the edge of goodbye? Ancient Comet Twin. This comet died in 2020, but it was born in 1844. Scientists stared at their screens in disbelief. Atlas's orbit wasn't new. It was a ghost echo, the exact same path as the Great Comet of 1844, a blazing spectacle visible for months with naked eyes. Quan Ji Ye at the University of Maryland confirmed what seemed impossible. Same trajectory, same 6,000-year journey. Atlas wasn't some random wanderer. It was a twin. Both came from one ancient parent. Body that shattered long ago in the Oort. Cloud, that frozen graveyard at our solar systems. Edge where comets sleep for millennia. Here's where it gets disturbing. The 1844. Twin survived its fiery pass around the sun. Thrived even. Became legendary. But Atlas? It exploded before reaching its closest point. Same DNA. Same journey. Completely different fate. Why did one brother live while the other died? Was Atlas weaker? Cracked from within? Or did something change in space itself between their visits? And here's what nobody's saying out loud. If there were two fragments, why not three? Four? Ten? Right now, invisible pieces of that 1844 monster could be silently falling toward us. Ticking time bombs we'll never see until they ignite. Hubble's death watch. Hubble watched something die. And it was heartbreakingly beautiful. April 20th, 2020. NASA's Hubble locked onto Atlas as it tore itself apart in real time. The first image made scientists gasp. 25 glittering fragments drifting through darkness like cosmic shrapnel. Three days later, over 30 pieces, smaller, dimmer, scattering faster. Each fragment tumbled in slow motion, bleeding gas and dust as sunlight devoured what remained. Some chunks were house-sized, others just boulders, but all of them were dying, glowing bright, then vanishing into the void like snuffed candles. This was the most detailed comet death ever recorded. Frame by frame, Hubble tracked each piece as it spun, flared, and dissolved into nothing. But here's the gut punch. Analysis revealed Atlas was weaker than tissue paper, impossibly fragile. A cosmic sandcastle that never stood a chance this close to the sun. It wasn't an accident. Atlas was doomed from birth, its death coded into its structure millions of years ago. So we didn't just watch a comet break apart. We watched something beautiful die exactly as it was designed to. 
a 6,000-year journey ending in seconds. Inevitable, tragic, perfect, and we had front row seats. Fragile ice structure Atlas didn't explode. It danced itself to death. The sun didn't kill it. Atlas killed itself, torn apart by its own spin and one of space's cruelest deaths. Here's the thing about comets. Calling them dirty snowballs is dangerously misleading. They're not solid. They're barely held together piles of dust, frozen gas, and gravel. One wrong move, and they're gone. As Atlas approached the sun, its frozen core started vaporizing. Gas jets erupted like tiny rocket thrusters, twisting the nucleus faster and faster. If the core was already cracked, already hollow, every burst made it spin harder, like a top losing control. The rotation became unstoppable. Physics took over. The outward force overwhelmed gravity's desperate grip. And then Atlas just unraveled. No explosion, no drama, just a slow, graceful surrender, a body destroyed by its own motion. Scientists now believe this silent suicide happens constantly. First-time visitors from the Oort cloud spinning too fast, cracking too soon, dying before they can complete their ancient journey, which means right now, invisible comets are tumbling toward us, already cracked, already doomed. Spinning time bombs that'll never survive their first sunrise. How many are coming? We'll only know when they die. Carbon monoxide secret, one chemical, gave away Atlas's darkest secret. Before it died, telescopes detected something impossible in its light. Carbon monoxide levels that made scientists freeze. Not just unusual, absolutely off the charts. Trappist and Speculus telescopes in Chile confirmed the nightmare. CO concentrations far beyond anything seen in ordinary comets. This wasn't normal. This was a message from somewhere else. Here's why that matters. Carbon monoxide is impossibly fragile. Sunlight destroys it instantly. Heat vaporizes it in seconds. For Atlas to carry this much meant one terrifying thing. It came from absolute darkness. A place so cold, so remote, sunlight had never touched it. Ever. We're talking the frozen edge of reality. The Oort cloud's deepest void. Maybe beyond. A place near absolute zero where time stops. Atlas was perfectly preserved. Ancient. Untouched for millions of years. A cosmic time capsule carrying secrets from our solar system's birth. But here's the cruel irony. That same pristine purity killed it. The frozen perfection that made Atlas extraordinary also made it fatally weak. When sunlight finally found it after eons of darkness, Atlas couldn't adapt, couldn't survive. It was too pure to live. And we watched it pay the price. Amateur astronomer's documentation. A comet died. And regular people with backyard telescopes saw it first. No billion-dollar space agency. No elite observatory. Just amateurs standing in their yards, watching the sky. As Atlas faded, something beautiful happened. Hundreds of everyday stargazers across the globe aimed their homemade telescopes upward. Night after freezing night, they tracked that ghostly green smudge, watching it flicker, dim, and finally surrender to darkness. Their images flooded online forums. Faint dots captured by hand-built rigs and cheap optics. But those dots told a devastating story. Mid-April 2020, Atlas lost over a hundred times its brightness in just two weeks. The core had shattered. Fragments scattered everywhere, reflecting almost nothing. The glow didn't vanish. It just spread too thin for human eyes. Here's what stunned everyone. When NASA scientists reviewed the amateur data, they were shocked. It was invaluable, precise, professional-grade documentation of a comet's death captured by people with day jobs, kids, mortgages, from small towns to city rooftops. Ordinary humans witnessed cosmic history, not because they had fancy equipment, but because they cared enough to look up. Turns out, the universe doesn't need a space agency to reveal its secrets. Just people willing to watch the darkness. Atlas's legacy remains Atlas failed spectacularly. And that failure changed everything. It never became the bright comet astronomers dreamed of. No dazzling sky show. No viral photos. Instead, it gave us something infinitely more valuable. A front row seat to cosmic death in real time. This was unprecedented. Scientists watched a pristine Oort cloud relic disintegrate second by second under the sun's brutal heat. Every telescope on six continents, plus satellites in orbit, locked onto Atlas simultaneously. A global network capturing every gasp, every fragment, every final flicker. The data was devastating and beautiful. Long-period comets aren't just fragile, they're suicidal, chemically unique, structurally doomed, destined to shatter on their first solar approach. But here's Atlas's real legacy. It became the blueprint.
the ultimate test case for humanity responding to cosmic events in real time, telescopes, amateurs, professionals, nations working as one unstoppable network, the comet's gone now. Fragments scattered into eternal silence, but what it taught us remains burning bright, because when the next interstellar visitor crosses into our solar system, maybe tomorrow, maybe next year, we won't miss it. We'll be watching, waiting, ready. Atlas taught us how to catch ghosts before they vanish forever.